Hello, good day to everyone. So this is Mahavir Shah. I am representing uh, Faithian Technologies under the IoT and Payment Division. And I'm the Chief Marketing Officer taking care of the global market. So today I'm going to talk about your IoT connected future in digital banking and payments. Well, just to give you a small brief about Faithian, you know, Faithian has been in business for last 22 years. It's a public listed company. Uh, it has, uh, you know, customers in more than 100 countries. We have more than 1,000 employees, where more than half of the employee strength has been focusing on R&D and innovation. Uh, the, the reason is that Faithian believes in creating very innovative products and solutions uh, within the payment industry. We are also proud members of EMV Co Board of Advisors, and uh, we have uh, actually focused on Android point of sale terminals manufacturing and also providing the ecosystem for supporting the payments on Android POS. So just giving a small background about the past and the journey of POS terminals. Well, we all know that 1879 was the year when the first cash register was invented. Uh, and then we have seen a lot of uh, new innovations with 2002 coming out as a first cloud-based POS system, uh, which was introduced in the UK. And uh, after that, there has been immense, uh, you know, inventions right from traditional POS and then to the Linux POS and then going down to the Android point of sale terminals uh, with 2012 being the most important part where, uh, you know, uh, the first Android POS was created and 2015 was when the first Android POS was certified and was launched in China. The team uh, which actually was a part of the first Android POS is the same team which is at Faithian today. And we are very proud to create some very innovative, uh, you know, Android POS which has very different specifications uh, and, and can really take care of the, the real needs of uh, the practical market. Uh, Going down the, the main reasons, you know, what differentiates an, a traditional pause and an Android pause. So we know that the traditional pause is primarily focused on payments only. Uh, the TMS control does not have many features, right from geofencing to notification to marketing advertisements. Uh, it does not even have, uh, uh, you know, some of the push notifications or marketing videos push uh, so that the POS can also be utilized as a, uh, you know, marketing campaign management system. Of course, the connectivity uh, in Android POS is uh, on 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LTE, where on traditional POS, uh, they are more, more uh, focused on the 2G and 2.5G. And now, of course, we also see 3G. Uh, another thing is the battery life of a traditional POS uh, is not very strong enough and the printing speed is also very slow. So all these issues which we have understood from the practical market, we have tried adopting and bringing out a solution with Faithian Android point of sale terminal series launch. Changes and drivers in the payment market where um, well, there are new technology and new adoptions as we all know that with Android uh, smartphones, which is dominating the market, there has been a lot of Android smart applications. And, uh, you know, now the point of sale terminal is not only a payment device, but it is also looked as a value added solution where different value added services and applications can be put on the same pause, allowing a merchant to bring revenues on table, which is more than just the payments. Uh, the new age smart POS systems, open, very much stable, highly secured, and absolutely tailored and customized. So what does Faithian bring on table? So Faithian actually is uh, right now not only developing the Android point of sale terminals, but is also looking at, uh, you know, providing the ecosystem where you have an application which is connected to the host switch and then you have or which undergoes l3 certification and then you have a very smart uh, you know omni pause we call it uh, for the terminal management system so basically one tms uh, which has your own uh, uh, application store uh, for private and public apps uh, you can do geofencing geolocation uh, you can do you know remote key injections uh, you can 
uh, actually know the heartbeat of the pause. Uh, if there is any issue at the merchant side, there is an health theft system already integrated. The tickets can be raised and the servicing can be much more easier. Uh, apart from the traditional features which it has in terms of, uh, you know, taking care of OTA firmware updates and auto push updates and all that. Uh, this kind of pauses which we have created are uh, also for merchants and also for KYC and branchless banking, because we have also integrated a biometric uh, fingerprint scanner, which is FBI and SDQC certified. So today as you can see that there are various value added services which can be put on the POS. Like we talk about the merchant services. Merchant services are mainly, uh, you know, inventory management, supplier management, order history, daily sales report. Then you have the Omni payment services, which has WeChat Pay, Alipay, Apple Pay, MasterCard, Visa, MX. You know, whether it's a closed loop wallet also, we can automatically integrate and introduce on the application. You have discounts, loyalty rewards, memberships, you know, a lot of things, or we can even integrate with the existing ERP. And then you have top up bill payment vouchers. So basically there can be one application which runs on an Android POS, which can service not only the payment, but also the value added services all integrated under one basket. So let me focus more on the Android POS because when I say Android, a lot of people have, uh, you know, reluctancy and they, they think that, Maybe it is an open source, but please understand that this is a customized uh, application on the open source of Android. So it allows uh, to uh, Fatian to undergo the PCI compliances. So it is a highly secured uh, system where we have the secured booth, we have temper detection, we have firmware and apps authentication, and the whole Android has been customized. So there is no Google Play Store in that. It is a closed marketplace. The strength of secured Android OS in payments. Well, this is very interesting for a lot of people because uh, the apprehensions of Android uh, being an open source and, and how it can secure uh, can be addressed. Uh, you know, you have Android, which is optimized Android, uh, which has been created by Fatian. It has secured boot, it has app signature, sign-in solutions. Uh, you have auto updates on the security. Uh, payment security OS, sensitive data product, secure pin solution, secure key injection, whether it's master session or whether it's remote key injection on Dukpeet, a uh, lot of things, device location manager, temper manager. So if you look at overall, this is a very, very secured point of sale terminal, which we are trying to bring in the market. <clears throat> So if we really look at most of the traditional pause have the kernels on the security processors. What we have done is with this Android coming in, the kernels reside on the Android processor. So that is where you have the kernels and the SDK and the app and on the security processor more on the drivers and key management and the temper management. So, you know, this, this is where the architecture of the hardware uh, has been created. So as I told you that Fatian is not only looking at you know, manufacturing the Android pause, whether it's on SKD or CKD, or whether it's a CBU business model, uh, we actually also design and undergo uh, or uh, undertake a lot of OEM projects also. But we are also looking at, you know, providing an ecosystem, as I mentioned before, in terms of the application, as well as the terminal management system. So here is what we have. We have currently already launched F20, which is our all-in-one smart pause, which has IC MSR contactless, uh, eight megapixel camera as compared to the market offerings. It has two plus 16 on Android 10, that is two GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage uh, with the TF card support. It is all dual SIM and SAM already in build. So uh, it, it's, it's actually something which is very much adopted to the need of the market. And then we have F300, which is a pocket pause. So this is the first pocket, uh, first kind of a pocket pause, which can replace MPOS in the market, where it is not dependent on a smartphone. It has its own dual SIM card in build. So you can use it on dual SIM or on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And F300 does not have a printer and F20 has a printer in build, which is a fast printing. F100 is a, a mobile payment solution, which is only, which does not support IC MSR, but apart from that, it can do QR payments, it can do barcode reading, it has printing, and it has contactless uh, payment acceptance also. Uh, Fatian also has the traditional uh, MPOS, 
which is called ePay Pause, which needs a smartphone and it's connected on Bluetooth or USB. And then we have the biometric versions where we have with fingerprint, which is FBI and SDQC certified. We have also launched the T10, which is the first Bluetooth uh, contactless payment device, basically being adopted by a lot of uh, uh, tabs or pads, uh, which are looking at connecting and uh, allowing uh, payment acceptance on, on those non-payment, uh, you know, kind of smart terminals or smart devices. And then we have the Storm, which is a smart terminal operations remote manager and the Smart Pay, which is our payment application. So, so how how does how is smart pay different from others? You know, uh, there are a lot of people when they want to actually migrate from a traditional POS to an Android smart POS. The first thing they look at is uh, who is going to develop an application. If they have an existing app, then yes, we can integrate on the SDK provided by Fathian. If they do not have an existing application, then they are always looking at uh, you know outsourcing the development work or making it in house, which takes at least six eight months for them to develop a payment app as per. Uh, you know, the need and as per the integration with their payment host or the switch. Uh, where SmartPay comes into picture is that SmartPay is one application which is highly matured. It has been adopted in more than 40 countries now. Uh, this application has already got, uh, you know, the API adopters of uh, 12 to 14 leading switches in the world, which are majorly being used by the banks or the acquirers. And uh, it can be easily integrated on any of the protocols, right, from ISO 8583 or SPDH or Hypercom or uh, TLV messaging or any of them. This application, we have two versions. One is that it can work on an Android smartphone to connect to the Bluetooth MPOS of our device. So it can be used for the MPOS devices. And this application can also be uh, uh, installed on our Android POS and can be used independently on the Android POS for accepting payments and the value added services, which I just referred before. So, what are the main modules of a smart pay? So, of course, you have, uh, you know, the card payments, uh, you know, right from sales, void refund, pre auth split payments, offline payments, installment, cancel tips. It has uh, <clears throat> the store manager. So it is more on the inventory side. Uh, you know, we have the inventory manager right from supplier purchase, expenses, loyalty and rewards, staff inventory. Uh, it has valuated services of top up and bill payment. Uh, it has uh, cashiering, whether you want to accept the payments by QR code or whether you want to have it by cash or bank cards or different card schemas or contactless payments. Everything is inbuilt in one particular application, which is absolutely white labeled uh, as per the need of the partner. And also we provide the integration services to the host switch. So giving a small overview of our terminal management system, which I say that it's the first of the kind, uh, which is completely on microservice architecture and has been created in such a way that it can support not only the Fathian uh, Android smart pos, but any third party Android smart pos in the world, as well as any third party traditional pos, uh, which is in the world. So it can be one TMS, which can cater to all the needs of any terminal vendor manufacturer on the same TMS. And we have various features which are very unique, right? From uh, uh, you know geofencing, geolocation. Uh, you have heartbeat of the entire pause or the life cycle of the pause, which can be monitored. It has its own application store, so you can create your own app store, whether it's public, private. Very unique thing is that it has marketing manager. With marketing manager, you can create campaigns, you can uh, push, uh, you know, uh, pictures or uh, videos or notifications onto the pause when it is idle. And we can even have paper click onto the same application, which allows uh, the provider to generate revenues from the marketing advertisement. It has transaction manager. There are so many switches which do not have transaction manager. So you have uh, parameters of acquirer parameters, pause parameters, merchant parameters, EMV parameters, which can be absolutely customized. And the whole solution is web-based. And uh, it has security. Uh, in fact, we have recently got the PCI pin certification. We are using MyHSM on the cloud and uh, we are compliant as per the PCI pin standards. Uh, that is where Storm comes up. So it can be implemented on premises or it can be used on a public cloud. Uh, it can be implemented on AWS or Azure or any private data centers which are PCI DSS certified. Um, 
as I mentioned earlier, yes, we have already integrated with uh, AWS, Cloud HSM, with My HSM, with Google HSM. So when it comes to HSM and key secure uh, key security, we are highly secured, and uh, we have a very strong hold and a very strong uh, team which supports the development of this. The smart pay uh, application is absolutely compatible, whether it's uh, bank cards, uh, China Union Pay, Visa, Master, MX, Discover, JCB, or whether you talk about you know, payments uh, using the QR, whether it's Alipay, WeChat Pay, or Masterpass, or Apple Pay, or Samsung Pay, or any other uh, closed loop wallet, which is within the region, we can easily integrate on the same application, allowing you to have one device for any payment methods at the merchant store. So there are a lot of use cases of Atian. You know, they have been used in new retail markets. Uh, you know, right now we have some of the retail stores which have been using one pause, taking care of the inventory, taking care of the ECR payments because it has concert protocol inbuilt, uh, taking care of the uh, payments uh, by different payment mechanism, whether it's contactless, bank cards, or QR. So basically, when you look at a retail store, instead of having two, three different terminals or equipments, it actually comes down and boils down to one single technology, which can deliver all the requirements of a uh, retail market. On the banking industry, we have a lot of banks who are utilizing not only for merchant acquiring, but also using it for branchless banking, KYC, and all that stuff. Even on logistic part, a uh, lot of uh, companies have been using our terminals, uh, you know, on the logistic for uh, scanning, uh, you know, for inventory management and other things. Telecommunication is also one of a very big use case. Telecom operators are always looking out for a simple secured device which can take care of the voucher printing or the flexi top up or a fixed top up and can also use it for their own uh, wallet systems, uh, which is closed loop wallet. So basically, over and all, we have a lot of uh, unique use case scenarios where our, our terminals and the applications and the ecosystem has been used right now. Uh, yes, we have supermarkets, transportations, parking lot, gas stations, healthcare, where you are, uh, where some of the companies have been using for patient management, uh, you know, using a smart terminal. So that is also what we have, including fingerprint or for face recognition and everything. So this is just an overview and what Fatian brings on table. And we see that the future is absolutely uh, IoT and cloud payments. And uh, that is where Fatian is uh, really focused and wants to uh, you know, be a market leader. So thank you everyone. In case you have any further questions, please feel free to send me an email or connect to me. I'll be more than happy to assist you as well as uh, you know, work on delivering any kind of solutions you need. Thank you once again.